Hi, I am at the Petro Truck Stop in Kenley, North Carolina. Uh, the Kenley, the Kenley 95 Truck Stop. Anyway, uh, I pulled in here to um, uh, map something. Anyway, from the outside, I happened to notice these big glass windows and uh, a truck inside. Uh, it's called the Prowler. Anyway, I've already been inside. I've done a video, everything. Um, I was about to go back in and um, take some more pictures when my phone died, so I had to come to the car, plug it in, charge it up. Anyway, um, went back in, got something to drink. Um, again, Petro Truck Stop, Kenley, North Carolina, or the Kenley 95 Truck Stop. Anyway, I passed it last night. Um, anyhow, it turns out that it is part of the Iowa 80. The, the, the lady inside, the uh, cashier, told me that that uh, the Iowa 80 truck stop is their parent company. Um, I remember a few years ago thinking about going, you know, to, to, to... I've been to Iowa before, and I remember being there and wanting to maybe go see, see the truck stop, but for whatever reason, I just didn't make it, and I was like, oh, that's not that important. But anyway... So here I am, I'm in Kenley, North Carolina, and I pass the truck stop, you know, I pull in, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go in and take a video, take some pictures, I did, I took some pictures, which um, I will uh, do a slideshow later to show you a little bit more, it's harder to do video, but I, I think I did okay, anyway, um, I'm headed back in here now to take a few more photos, um, just wanted to get that out, this is kind of an intro, um, the Kenley 95 truck stop, Petro station or Petro truck stop. Um, there's, a, there's a, they, they have tons of trucker gear. They've got loads of trucker gear. They even have biker gear. Anyway, I'm going back in to take some more photos and I just wanted to, uh, touch base and give you a little intro to the video that's coming up. So I'll, I'll be back with you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, I am at the Kenley, North Carolina 95 truck stop and it appears to be a really, really cool truck stop. So I'm going to walk you guys around and show you guys some of it. Okay, I am, obviously, I'm walking around in here. Um, this place has, again, I'm at the Kenley, North Carolina, 95, I-95 truck stop. It is a really cool truck stop. It has all kinds of trucker gear. Um, what made me stop and come in was I saw a semi, a rig, and the uh, window as I was pulling in so I just thought oh so it's a really big truck stop and I thought you know it's really it's really cool looking so I'm gonna take you up here to my what brought me in here this is what brought me in here okay let's walk up I've already taken some pictures in here so okay I've taken some pictures And I wish I could zoom out, but I can't zoom out in this mode, so you're going to have to, I guess, bear with me on that one. And all this stuff is indoors. Anyway, you can see the big glass um, windows behind the truck. And that is what drew me in here. Oh, I didn't even walk over here and take photographs. I was up here and I was able to zoom in the picture mode. Anyway, this is what drew me in here because you can see the windows behind it. So, I'm going to come back here and take a couple more pictures while I'm at it. I'm not sure I'd want a pink. I think that's pink. Purple? Purplish? Pinkish? Purplish? Rig? I don't think I'd want that. 
see what this says. Oh man, ooh, very bright, wow. Very bright. Kinley 95, let's see what they got up here. Ah, it looks like they're selling stuff up here. Ah, I guess that's why they allow people to walk up here. I saw a man his kid up here earlier. Here's all the pictures on the wall. Okay, guys, I'm going to head over here somewhere else. Hopefully they don't notice me videotaping. Anyway, I uh, forgot to take a picture of this little tiny um, um, this little tiny truck over here. It's a little tiny baby rig or whatever you want to call it. I'll come back and take a picture of that, too. And they have a lot of, it's a big big place in here. They got a lot of, a lot of trucker gear. And I really didn't mean to, um, here's the other rig I took a picture of. I didn't take a picture from the back side, only the front side. So I'll have to come back and take a couple pictures of, of that. Anyway, that's cool, huh? See if I can back up and get a get a picture here, or a video rather. And as you can see, it goes all the way around to a um like a, a tractor trailer. Huh, I wonder what it says over here. Hi, ah, about this rig. Ah, it's just a computer. Probably what they, uh, I, I know, I know in the truck stops I see a lot of these guys with the big screen TVs and the, and their sleepers, so. So, this is really, and of course, there's chairs for the truckers to buy. Okay, I got some kind of tutorial, looks like. I'm going to head over here real quick. Where... Well, they got a couple trucks up on the wall. you can see and again I'm gonna take some uh, pictures again I'm gonna do a, like a slideshow of some uh, uh, some some of the photos I took in here so that you can uh, get a little bit better idea of what what I was looking at in here and obviously this is a this is a big truck stop with a lot of gear
Okay, we're over here. Gloves. Oh, there's some cool belts over here. Oh, this is cute. Haha, <laughs> this is cute. Hey, I'll come back and take a picture of that little thing. Uh, we'll def and over here is all the trucker lighting. I mean, they got a bunch of it too. Yeah, they got some cool stuff in here. Doesn't look too good on the, uh, doesn't look quite as good as it would on the, a photograph. Oh yeah, stereo system, yep. Trucks is class one morning life at the top of their class. From mid to low profile LED beacons, light bars, and directions. What trucker doesn't need um, a stereo system? I know I, I know I would if I was driving 400 miles without stopping. I don't think I could do it. Here's something. Aha. Here's something for me. A little, a little dress. That is, if I wore dresses, I really don't. I prefer pants. Trucker pajamas. Oh, now that's pretty cool. What is this? Oh, that's cool. That actually looks like something for a motorcycle. I'm pretty sure that is. <laughs> That's got, and it's got saddlebags on the side, so yeah. Sure, what this is Halloween <laughs> and a bunch of Kinley 95 North Carolina shirts. And then there's some more stuff stuff that kind of looks like it belongs out in Montana. Oh, yeah, and a bunch of uh. Eh. Looks like they got biker gear in here, too. Oh, yeah. My boyfriend were here. Uh, Ex-boyfriend, friend, whatever you want to call him now. He would love this place. But he never did want to put um, saddlebags on his motorcycle for some reason. I'm not sure why, what that's about. Uh, a lot of little knickknacks over here. And more shirts. Oh, yeah, I like the one with the truck. Oh, that's the last thing before I leave to show you guys. Here's all the little things I like. All the little I've, I've bought some of these at the um, Loves and 
places like this to stick in my car, but I don't really like to take too many. I have too many, rather. more knickknacks. Okay. All right, here's my personal favorite. A Dodge truck. Again, I took some pictures of this so you can see it. I wish I could zoom in this mode. Again, I will do a slideshow for you guys so you can see some of this stuff that I've taken pictures of. And there are six restaurants in this uh, truck stop. Now I'm walking outside and then I'll come back in just a second. Okay, I'm walking out here to the little area, the little glass area, show you guys what I saw when I was coming in, and this, it's actually right across the street from the pilot, and I stopped at the pilot last night, but I really didn't like it, it just was, I didn't like it, so I went up to, went around the corner to the Flying J, actually, here is where I happen to see this coming in I saw this the glass window with the rig in it and that is why I actually that's why I stopped I happened to see it and I thought huh cool looking what a cool looking place so anyway okay I'm gonna stop this video now um and I'll be back in a little bit. I'm going back in to take a few, snap a few photos of things I didn't get pictures of the first time. So I'll be back with you guys a little bit later. Hi, today is March 8th, Monday, March 8th at approximately 4 p.m. Um, hopefully I'm going to post this video t today. I've already been in back inside the truck stop. Uh, the Kenley 95 truck stop, Kenley, North Carolina, the Petro station. Anyway, I've already been back in, took some more photos. I'm, I'm back in the, I'm back outside now. Um, I'm hoping to get this video posted today, today or tomorrow at the latest. Anyway, and I just want to let everyone know, uh, this video is going to be out of order. I have some other videos that are going to be posted. I'm go going to post later. And they were all videos taken in January and February when I was in South Carolina and Georgia. Uh, mostly Georgia. Actually, I take that back. I take that back. I started I started taking videos when I was in a little town called Royston, Georgia. I happened to be sitting outside a Dollar Tree. And I don't know. I was just watching some YouTube videos. And I thought, you know what? There were some things I wanted to address. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do that video. 
and then you know it could have just been a one-off you know because I've done that before one here and there but then I said you know what I kind of like doing this I mean you know it, I'm not real good at it I don't think but but you know I mean I've been practicing a lot since then you know not just practicing with the video but filters and different apps you know to try to get you know right now I'm using the blue map and I really like it it's as far as filters and things it's much better um for longer videos, I have another app I use, the Camera 365, and that, that works pretty well. But anyway, I started in Royston, Georgia, so, and then I said, you know what, I'm going to, and I just kept, I just kept going, you know. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of videos that are going to be posted after this video, because I've, I've done a lot. I've got about 50 videos now on my phone, and for some reason, I'm I, like my photos, I'm getting behind, I'm not posting them, uh, or, or not getting them posted in a timely manner anyway so this video hopefully I'm gonna get it posted today tomorrow at the latest and it's gonna be out it's gonna be out of order uh, definitely because there's gonna be a bunch of videos afterwards that say I'm in Georgia anyway but I'm not going back to you know I'm not gonna go back and do any intros to those videos that I've already done you know and say oh hey oh by the way this was whatever date you know this was February 1st in Georgia, you know, or whatever. Just using that example, I don't know. I think I was in Georgia in February 1st. I don't remember. But anyway, I'd have to look. But anyway, I'm not going to go back and do a bunch of uh, intros to any of it and say, oh, this is out of order. This was taken in March on February 1st, you know. I'm not going to do that. I might. I might. Just depends. Um, I'm running out of space on my phone, believe it or not. I have so many videos and so many pictures because I take a lot of photographs. But I also have a lot of videos now. So, anyway, again, I just decided to let you guys know it's March 8th, 4 p.m. I'm in Kenley, North Carolina. I'm at this Petro truck stop, which is, from what the cashier tells me, is basically, I guess, a baby version of the Iowa 80 truck stop. Anyway, and I've wanted to get out to the truck stop in Iowa. I, I remember wanting to do that a few years ago, but I didn't make it. Anyway, and then I just kind of thought, huh, it's not that important, but you know, when I went inside this one, it's it's actually a really cool truck stop. There's all, like I said in the first video, the intro, there's just so much stuff. There's uh, biker gear, there's a lot, loads and loads of trucker gear, obviously. Um, like, oh, and I made a mistake. There are six, there are six restaurants, but there's, there, there are six fast food restaurants and one full service restaurant the iron skillet just wanted to be clear about that um anyway um it's 4 p.m and i'm 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 getting ready to leave here um this is going to be probably the last video that i do for the day um i might do a, another video uh tonight but probably not you know I, i'll be someplace i'll i'll stop somewhere tonight and I'm hoping to get out into the country and take a few photos today, too. So, anyway, uh, God bless, peace, and God bless. Hey, guys. Um, I know in the first video, I moved around a lot, so it was really hard to uh, see what I was doing because I was moving around just a lot. Anyway... This is the reason I came into the truck stop, as I've explained. It is the, um, the prowler, they call it. Anyway, um, I hate that I moved around so much in the first video. So anyway, I thought I'd do a couple of little short videos of the things that you know I want to take uh, pictures of and and do the camera in a slightly different angle because anyway the first one I had to hold it up and hold it close to my body so that no one would actually notice what I was doing because I mean they may not like you taking video inside this place especially since I was walking around the entire store and I didn't you know I didn't chop the videos up Anyway, this is a cool, a cool rig. This is a really nice rig. Oops. This is 
is a really nice rig. Anyway, again, I'm going to do a couple of short videos of this one. There's this one. There's a red one down there. I, I kind of got it pretty much in the first video, but I'm going to shorten it down. You know, a small one anyway. And then there's a biker thing over there. There's a couple things over there. I'm going to gonna take a couple short videos. And for some reason, I wasn't able to zoom the first time. And I'm not sure what that was about, but when I opened the camera app back up, I was able to zoom. So I don't know what that's about. But, I, and, and I'm also going to include some uh, pictures too, a slideshow of the pictures. Because I, I did that, and up at the top here is a black, what appears to be a black panther. Come on, come on. Uh, I want you zooming out. And here's a little penguin over here. And here's the back side of the prowler. They've even got uh, what sounds like cat sounds. Oops, <laughs> you can see my reflection here. Oh, it's very bright. Ooh, I don't like that. I had to really angle the can. I had to really pick the spots to get um, a good, good pictures because it's so bright with the uh, the evening sun coming in. Oh. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, I'll be back with you guys later. Okay, here's the other side of the, uh, of the, uh, here's the other side of the truck. And then I'm going to head over here real brief, over here to where some of their stuff is, their little toy trucks, things I guess that kids, especially, oops, little boys would like. And this, okay. Hi, uh, this upcoming slideshow is the, uh, the, the, the pictures I took of the, the Prowler truck, the Prowler Semi, at the uh, I-95, uh, the Petro truck stop uh, in Kenley, North Carolina. Hey guys, here's a chair that cost, or seat rather, cost 2099 bucks. Okay, I can't really do much video on this truck. I wish I could, but I can't because there's a couple of employees standing over there and I just, you know, I don't want to get into trouble. Anyway, you see the seats, how much they cost. Not too far from the Prowler, uh, the red whatever red red rig with the uh, uh painted tractor trailer Hey guys, I'm over here at the bike now. I got lucky the first time there were no employees in here at all. Now there's a number of them. So, let me get through here. I think this is super cool. 
anyway this is one of the other things um i really like i really like this bike that's cool <laughs> that's cool that's like super cool okay. Oh yeah, and some really old music. <laughs> I hope this will be a little bit better. This video will be just a bit better. Oh, here's some Smoking the Bandit stuff over here. I didn't see that. When I was a kid, Smoking the Bandit, the Smoking the Bandit car was one of my favorite cars. And they got some cool shirts. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm over here at the Pirate now. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's, uh, uh to me, it kind of looks like Halloween, but whatever. Like, dude, get out of my photo. <laughs> oh, well. It's a truck stop, so. Anyway, I like this. Oh yeah, I see what it is now. It's a Pirates of the Caribbean. That's why they're uh, doing that. Yep, here's all the Harley Davidson stuff. As I said earlier, her boyfriend would or whatever you want to call him, friend would really like this. We were together, but you know, now we're kind of not so much, we're just friends. Okay, guys, so what do I say about this? Uh, the Avid Outdoorsman, the Avid Hunter. That's what it looks like. The guy that wants to blend in with the outdoors and blend in with the trees and the bushes. That's kind of what it looks like. And there's some army shirts over here. So, I'm thinking that's what it might be. Well, that's what it is. It's out, uh, the Avid Outdoorsman. The next two slideshows are the Harley Rider, the Pirates of the Caribbean, and the Outdoor Camouflage, whatever it is, Army, Army Gear. Hey guys, I'm over here at the bike now. I got lucky the first time there were no employees in here at all. Now there's a number of them. So, let me get through here. I think this is super cool. <laughs> anyway, this is one of the other things um, I really like. I really like this bike. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. That's like super cool. Okay. Oh yeah, and some really old music. <laughs> I hope this will be a little bit better. This video will be just a bit better. Oh, here's some Smoking the Bandit stuff over here. I didn't see that. When I was a kid, Smoking the Bandit, the Smoking the Bandit car was one of my favorite cars. And they got some cool shirts. Wow. Okay. Here's my last uh, video. This is of the old truck. Kind of my favorite thing. As I explained earlier, the uh, this is kind of like a baby store of the Iowa 80. Alright, I'm 
I'm ready to head out of here, guys. This next slideshow is of the Dodge Power Wagon um, with the uh, Iowa 80 tag. My apologies, my eyes are starting to burn. Anyway, the Iowa 80 Dodge Power Wagon. little uh, slideshow is of the cute little unicorn and uh, an outside photo. Well, well, here is the outside of the Kinley 95 truck stop. Maybe one day I will make it up there to Iowa 80. I kind of hope I do. Maybe I will. Okay, guys, I'm outdoors now. Um, I took a couple pictures of this thing. And as you can see, it is a very, very big truck stop. Big parking lot, rather, I mean. So, anyway. Let's see. I don't want my shadow in here. I hate that. Okay. So, I'm going to get off here now. For the night, uh, I just got through, um, finished up. Uh, editing editing my videos doing the slideshows and now I got to just pull it all together that won't take long uh, not usually um, I'm hungry so I'm gonna pull it together as quick as I can and then come back to the car and eat uh, last night I had a sandwich a ham and cheddar I wasn't that pleased the cashier said she thought it was really good I it, and it was not bad it was not bad but anyway um i'm here at a truck stop so i'm going to go in in a few minutes i'm gonna look and see if they got any chicken salad or tuna i'm hoping they do uh you know because that'll make it i'll be quick um because i'm getting hungry I, I haven't eaten that much today just uh my eyes are burning i apologize um not as bad as last night though they were burning so bad last night that I ended up having to just turn the camera around and, you know, just turn the camera around. It was focused on uh, 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 some pictures on my iPad of, of birds because I just could not do the video. It was so, my eyes burned so bad. I, I was like, uh, usually they don't burn that bad. But, I mean, they burned. They burned. And I don't know. I noticed I had the heat on in the car. Uh, maybe that was making my eyes burn a little bit. A little bit. Because I noticed that a few minutes ago. So, anyway. Oh. I need a deep breath. Anyway. Um, so, my eyes were burning. And I think it might have had something to do with the heat in the car. The bright light. Um, the overhead light it was a little bright too that kind of uh, makes them burn a little bit too so I turned it down to one just one light so there'll be less anyway I'm going to pull my video together I just kind of wanted to kind of say a little good night I'm here at a truck stop I'm uh, going to I got going to have to get off anyway I'm going to pull my video together get off I go in eat um, maybe get something to drink um, anyway, um, as you already know, uh, the video is, of course, of the Kinley 95 truck stop, Kinley, North Carolina, Petro Station, uh, I guess it's like a sister site or a baby site of, of the Iowa 80 truck stop, which is supposedly the largest truck stop in the world. 
Um, I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm gonna have to look it up and get a little more information about that. Anyway, uh, I want to say good night, peace. Uh, have a good night. Have a good day. Peace. God bless. Hi guys. Uh, let me tell you a little bit, a little bit about the Iowa 80 truck stop. Um, I know a few years ago um, I wanted to uh, actually go, but I, I never made it. Um, I think I just thought, you know, Iowa is so far away, you know. Um, so I didn't even attempt it because I just figured it was so far away. Anyway, so I map it just, to, just out of curiosity to see how far it is. Well, it's a little over 800 miles. That's actually not that bad. But I mean, looking at it, looking at it in respect of a big chunk, that's a lot. So I'm I'm looking, you know. So I'm looking anyway, and I map it, you know, to see what route I would actually take. Well, um, I'm I would actually go up through Kentucky, and believe it or not, I was actually thinking about going to Kentucky this year. Actually, I was thinking about going to Kentucky this year now that I've, uh, you know, I found myself a, another car. Um, finally. Anyway, it's a little bit older car. Still 10 years old, but low miles, 43,000. Anyway, just want to throw that in there. Um, Ford Fusion, not my first choice, but again, needed a car. I was planning on going to Kentucky again this year because I didn't make it last year. I, I just I haven't made it in a, in a couple of years. Anyway, um, I was also thinking about going to Michigan. And when I go to Michigan, I always go up, I almost always go up through Indianapolis. So I mapped from Indianapolis to Walcott, Iowa. It's roughly 324 miles. That is like nothing. 324 miles, absolutely nothing. I would also go up through Peoria, Peoria, Illinois, 112 miles from Peoria to Walcott. Anyway, just want to throw that in there. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about Iowa 80. That's the parent company of the truck stop that I was at today. Um, of course, it's the world's largest truck stop. I think I stated that in another video. Um, it was built in 1964. Let's see. It has a super truck showroom, a barber shop, a chiropractor, dentist, movie theater, workout room, laundry facilities, gas islands, diesel fuel center, truck service center, the truck -a mat truck wash, the dog -a mat pet wash, the cat scale, 24, uh, 24 private showers, Turkey Museum. Okay, now I read a little bit about uh, more about it earlier. It had like a, a lot of stuff. Anyway, so it's a big truck stop, and I'm, you know, oh, and they have a trucker's jamboree every year. Last year, because of COVID, they actually went virtual with it, um, which would be really cool. Personally, though, I would want to actually visit because. I love to take pictures, and so, you know, I love to take pictures, and I want to get up close and personal and be able to get those pictures. Um, from what it says on their website, um, they have old trucks, you know, antiques. Anyway, the website is iowa80truckstop.com, and I think the museum is iowa 80 truckmuseum.com or something like that. Anyway, there's a link on their website. So, this is my last video. I, I'm going to finish this video up, go into the store, get me a little snack, um, and then come back out and eat because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything but peanut butter crackers today, so I have to eat. So, anyway, this is like my last. I just wanted to tell everybody a little bit about the Iowa 80 truck stop. Anyway, so, um, getting off here for tonight. This is the last video. Um, anyway, have a good night or good day, whatever, whatever you watch this. 
um, peace. God bless.